Yes, absolutely. And the Summit County Sheriff's Office says they've never seen anything like this. And as you're about to hear, it was a father's determination, not search and rescue crews that were able to locate this lost boy. We are considered the trained professionals. We had helicopters, we had horses, we had uh, professionals that know how to use their GPS devices and go out there and do grid searches. And we have a father who shows up hours later and I guess that's a testament to a father-son bond because he was able to find him faster than we were. A father-son bond saves the day. Nine-year-old Stratton Wright was lost Wednesday night in a remote area of the Uinta National Forest. When his dad found out, he drove immediately from Idaho to help. He arrived at the command post at about 3 o'clock in the morning, um, checked in with the search and rescue command, and then made his a uh, five mile trek to where they were camping and started his own search. Meanwhile, Stratton was trying to figure out where he was when he couldn't find his way. This was his words. He knew he had to conserve energy. So instead of continuing his journey throughout the night, he chose to lay down and, and take a take a nap. As morning came, he found an open field because he knew it'd be easier to spot him there. That's where his father found him. When he realized that it was his father, he ran towards his father. Uh, obviously, uh, tears shed, very emotional moment for both father and son. So with dad's motivation and son's smarts, they were able to return home, maybe a little tired, but uninjured and safe. Just a remarkable uh, young individual. Uh, he did everything right. So as for what search and rescue crews, when they were checking him out, they asked him what he wanted first. Well, I guess he spotted a Twix bar that one of them had. He said, I'd like that Twix bar, please. After his whole ordeal, I think we can all agree that was uh, definitely warranted. And we're so glad that he was found safe and sound. And they are on their way back to Idaho to reunite with mom, we're told from the sheriff's office. In Summit County, Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News, Utah.